Hello, dudes. This is the second time I'm recording this. I know you don't care. This is the first time you're watching it. Probably. First and only time. So I don't know why people think they need to say this is my second, third, fourth time recording it. Myself included. Myself included. But I, I just feel like you need to share my pain. Or something. So, we're doing it again. This is the duck video that I've been talking about for a little while now. The duck video. Uh, the little sneak peek uh, that I gave everyone for the duck video in the TG Apuleius video. It's true. It's true. I got a giant ass Paper Mario box. Paper Mario sticker star. The GameStop promotional cardboard box. Why? His sticker star is awesome. That's why. I'll defend it forever. Seriously, not as bad as people say. Don't listen to the hype. The lack of hype. Don't listen to the don't listen to them. Sticker star is good. Best game ever? Yeah. Yeah. That's good though. That's good. <coughs> We got a lot of stuff. I got to get going on this video because I got to get it under 20 minutes because I want to get it under 20 minutes. It's probably not going to happen. We're going to try, though. Picked up a lot of hardware uh, for Mr. Duck, Mr. Howard, Howard the Duck. Um, starting off with this uh, Super Pad 64 Plus uh, because, as many of you know, I, uh, I, I dislike uh, the N64 controller and I am not alone, uh, clearly, because things like this exist. Uh, so this is this is proof that uh, the that 64 controller is less than ideal if someone is going to go out of their way to not only make a third party controller but completely change the controller itself. This side uh, is not so different; it's uh, pretty similar, but the the grip feels more like a like a dual shot grip. This side, obviously, uh, the middle section is gone, and now when you rest your thumb on this side, uh, you have access to the uh, thumbstick or the D-pad. Uh, you still use your index fingers like this. The top is pretty much the same, uh, but instead now your uh, Z button is down here. So it's a fairly comfortable controller, not uh, super comfortable. I mean, I can see how this could be odd to hold uh, for a long period of time, especially if you're using your index finger on the Z button. It's just a little weird. Uh, but all in all, I think that uh, this will be uh, good to play some games with and... Uh, I, I have quite a few N64 games that I have yet to enjoy, uh, yet to even try, really, because I can't hold that piece of crap for a, much longer than five, ten minutes at a time. I don't, I don't know why. I know it's a personal thing, and I should just get over it, but uh, this, this might help me get over it a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, a couple other just random controllers. Um... I did get the PlayStation 2 RetroCon. Uh, this was pretty cool. It actually lights up. I was going to turn my PlayStation 2 on so you could actually see it light up. But I forgot to turn the PlayStation 2 on. And with the light on in here, uh, you wouldn't be able to see it that well anyway. But uh, all of the buttons actually light up. And it's it's pretty cool because it has uh, dual thumbsticks still. And R1 and R2 and L1 and L2 up here still. So... Really, if you wanted to, you could play any game, any PlayStation 2 game at all, with this controller because it has all of the buttons and thumbsticks. So it's it's totally legit to play uh, any PlayStation 2 game. However, it would be a little bit odd being that the R and L buttons are uh, so close together on the top and they're side by side instead of over and under. Uh, but yeah, it is a cool little uh, controller. It's uh, I did test it out with some Mega Man. And it is uh, pretty slick. Um, I did sell my uh, Super Nintendo. And with it went um, the controllers that I had, except for an ASCII pad that I still have. Uh, one um, official controller and then one of these, uh, which I've since obviously replaced. Uh, Duck had an extra, and I 
I I said, hey, I'll take that uh, because I actually really like this. It's a the cord is a little short and uh, but it's a little bit more lightweight than the original controller and I don't know, it just feels good to me. The thumb st or the D pad just felt good. I I, I don't understand why I liked this better than the original, uh, but it's true. Shoot me. I know no one's going to agree with me there, but uh, sorry, this is the way it is for me. <laughs> and uh, while we're on the subject, I guess, of selling Super Nintendo and uh, getting a Super Nintendo controller, I did get a, a Super NES Advantage, which is pretty freaking awesome. Glad to have this, and I actually haven't even tried this yet. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. How would you be able to try that if you just sold your only Super Nintendo? Well. Well. Whale. Whale. We got a Retron 5. That's what. That's how. That's what's up. <laughs> Doc was selling his Retron 5, and I absolutely obliged because um, I have no nostalgic or sentimental attachment to a Super Nintendo or a Sega Genesis because I bought them as adult as an adult and uh, I just have no attachment to them so uh, when it came time to consider this purchase it was like I could totally sell my Genesis and Super Nintendo I'm keeping the keeping the NES because that is my my jam there but I have no attachment to the other two so I can save a little space and plug it in HDMI utilize uh, save states and uh, the other options that it has, such as playing uh, patched carts and things like that for Famicom and Super Famicom games. There's just a ton of options available with the, with the Retron 5 system. Uh, and it was just, it was just a really a no-brainer. Um, yeah, I, re I was really excited to, to grab this. So thank you, Ducky, for the great deal on all of this stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is... This is this is a very welcome addition uh, to the the Doom Lab. So, uh, and along with that, one final controller to show you. It obviously came with the controller, the Retron, but uh, we do have an extra one too. So we do have uh, two official Retron Five uh, Hyperkin controllers. And some people don't like the way that these uh, controllers feel, the way they are. And, uh, and that's totally cool. Uh, I, I can understand, you know, playing, not wanting to play uh, certain games for a long period of time because it is a little odd. Um, it's kind of odd shaping, but it does have a nice uh, kind of hook area for your fingers back there. And it's got, you know, six buttons on the face. And it, But it's got a very clicky thumbstick. And for some games, it's not going to be very good, but for other games... It's, it's, it works like a charm. I've, I've played a little bit here and there, and he did bring this um, here uh, when he was uh, at my home uh, back in December. So I did get to try it out. Uh, that was before I even knew that he was going to sell it, though. Um, so, yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, very glad to have it. And uh, it does. The, the system does allow you to plug in uh, any original controller uh nintendo super nintendo and genesis you could plug in all different kinds of controllers but for me uh, chances are i'm either going to be using the official or you know on a game by game basis but a lot of stuff is going to get played with this a lot of fighting games a lot of shooters and things like that uh because of this sexy little joystick here uh, because you can use the Super Nintendo controller with the system, and it'll work for any cartridge. It'll work for any game that you're playing. A Super Nintendo controller will work for a Genesis game, so that's cool. Last little bit of hardware here is a very good bit of hardware, I should add. Um, another thing that uh, I was a little surprised he was parting with, uh, but was pretty happy to take it off his hands. Um... The Neo Geo Pocket Killer. Yes! Sexy little thumbstick. Sexy little thumbstick. Sexy little system. This is a very cool uh, handheld. Um, I didn't know much about it um, until just a few years ago. And I still don't know a whole lot about it. 
but after you know doing some research here and there over the last few years, <coughs> I knew that I wanted to pick one up because I'm a big handheld gaming fan. And uh, there's just such a cool variety of games uh, for it. And this particular one isn't modded. Uh, it doesn't have a backlight or anything like that. I know some of them are. Uh, I've seen you know some people put backlights in them to make it a little bit easier to play. But I am not above sitting under a lamp in order to enjoy um, a little bit of the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I do have five games for the bad boy as well. It came with it. We have an RPG that I have not even thought about touching yet called Dark Arms. And we have a classic. Classic pack. Pac-Man. And we have King of Fighters R2. Samurai Showdown 2. And last but not least, Fatal Fury Pocket Fighting Series First Contact. And I do have uh, uh, four of these uh, plastic cases too uh, for the games themselves. Uh, yeah, this is this is a cool system. I'm very happy to have it. I'm very happy to have all these things. I know I'm going to repeat that phrase several times in this video because I did it on the first take. Probably going to happen again because I'm a creature of habit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I lied. One more little bit of hardware. This is this is kind of hardware. Um, Game Genie for the NES. Never had one of these. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just want to screw around and not be so serious when you're playing video games. So, uh, I get that way a lot, actually. I enjoy uh, playing stuff with, with cheat codes. Always have. Uh, it's, it's There's a time and a place to play things legit. And that's totally cool, but there's also a time to uh, just kind of screw around, and uh, I like doing that too. So, Game Genie for the NES. All right, uh, now I have a giant stack. It's about this big. You can't see how big it is. About a about a foot foot and a half tall here of uh, games. We are, we are down to just games now uh, that I did uh, purchase from a one Ducky Do Gaming. Once again, I lied to you. There's more hardware, but I'm not going to show it to you uh, because it doesn't matter. Um, did pick up um, a very large lot of Guitar Hero stuff. Guitar Hero is one of those things that I was a big advocate of when it first came out. Because I've always been a huge fan of music and video games. So, of course, when it came out and it was awesome, the first game was awesome, I was all about it. I actually didn't actually even buy it. A friend of mine had it and just brought it over and left it at my house like all the time. So we played tons of Guitar Hero uh, when it was very new. It was, you know, kind of hot off the presses. You know, it was the thing to have. Everybody was playing Guitar Hero. And um, it's one of those things that Guitar Hero itself, just, you know, for me, from, from the way I've seen it, it got so big and so popular and so oversaturated so fast that uh, it's kind of a shame because this stuff is just everywhere now. The hardware and the games. And it's just like, oh my gosh, nobody is buying this stuff anymore. Uh, but everybody that, you know, did, you know, got a lot of fun out of it. And I think most people that were into it or are into it um, still enjoy it. Uh, but he had a lot of extra... And it was getting rid of a lot, so I did pick up two guitars and a pair, uh, pair of, a pair of drums, a set of drums uh, for guitar, or not the rock band drums, and then a microphone. It's all over there in a box. Because I actually haven't got to hook it up yet because I got all the way home from Texas and I didn't have one of the little dongles uh, to hook up with with the PlayStation 3 to sync the guitar. So I actually haven't even got to try these out yet, but uh, that's okay. I'll soon enough. I've, I've been pretty busy anyway, not playing a lot of games. Uh, the first one's actually a Rock Band game, so, but I'm not, I'm not even sure I can play this one yet because I think this it's a track pack. And, uh, okay, it, does, it says does not require Rock Band to play, so that's good. That's good news. Uh, so maybe I will be able to actually uh, play guitar on this one. So that's cool. I love ACDC. Been a fan for a long time. <coughs> also love Van Halen, uh, Guitar Hero Van Halen. Not quite as big a Van Halen fan, but uh, I like Van Halen. Aerosmith, love some classic Aerosmith. 
once again, I mean, I'm not a huge, huge Aerosmith fan, but uh, this is this is a cool uh, thing to get. I would like to get the Metallica one, though. That one would be awesome. Love Metallica. We have Band Hero. And some of the track list on some of these isn't, like, fantastic, but uh, uh, it's still fun. World Tour. Guitar Hero World Tour. Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. And the last one here, Guitar Hero 5. So yeah, I uh, I am such a noob when it comes to the, the later installments of Guitar Hero. I've never played Rock Band or anything like that. I've only ever played Guitar Hero 1 with one guitar on the PlayStation 2. That's uh, where it all kind of started for me. And... Uh, that's where it, kind of, where it kind of started and where it ended. My brother-in-law played a little bit on the Xbox 360, um, and I used to watch him play every now and then. And I always thought it looked, you know, it looked cool, but I just never, never got into it again. Um, but it, I figured it was time. Uh, he had the extra stuff, and uh, I took it off his hands. So there you go. Uh, I got to speed this up because I got a lot more stuff to get through. Uh, this was actually just the case for Ridge Racer. Uh, this game was actually in the PlayStation One. Uh, when he brought it over to give to me for Christmas, the one with the uh, the fold-up monitor. Uh, so he just hooked me up with a case, which is very cool, because uh, kind of uh, really interested in uh, racing games right now, and I, I just don't have that many in my collection, so it's cool to get this, uh, this case. Speaking of racing games, good segue here. Uh, this is a game that I actually had. Uh, this, is, this is my cartridge, actually. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, I picked it up a couple years ago and a big lot of Super Nintendo stuff that I had bought. I was excited to see the cartridge in there, but it didn't work. And I just kept it in a drawer thinking that someday it might just ma magically work. Or in this case, uh, I sent it to Ducky a while back and he actually fixed it. That is Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Very cool because I'm a huge Mario Kart fan now. I wasn't always. This is a new thing. Uh, just since Mario Kart 8 came out, I've been trying to explore other Mario Kart games, and I'm just floored, no pun intended, uh, with uh, Mario Kart. And, uh, yeah, it's very cool to have a working copy of Super Mario Kart in the collection. Also for the Super Nintendo, we got Wanderers from Ease 3. Very cool Ease game. I haven't played too many of the Ease games. I've played Ease 1 and a lot of Ease 7 and, and some of Ease 4 uh, self -seta. But I have played and beat this one. I did uh, emulate this one. It's a, pretty, it's a different one. It's a side-scroller. It's, uh, it's very cool. Gotta keep moving. Uh, Nintendo. Uh, did buy my dad uh, a Retron 1 system. He just wanted a Nintendo. He didn't want Super, nothing else. Just just Nintendo, because that's what he used to have. And uh, he, But he wanted new hardware, so I I, I said, alright, this, this is the way to go then. We're going to get you the Retron 1 system. Seriously, like 15 bucks on Amazon. Really cheap uh, route for someone to play some classic NES games. But when I gave it to him, I also decided, you know what? He deserves to have his games back. Uh, so I did have to cut out several games from my collection that were actually originally his. So gone are the Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Super Mario, Tetris, Dr. Mario, and my beloved Wizards and Warriors. Which is okay, because I'll just get another copy. But uh, So those are all back in his collection. And I did get him an extra copy of Gauntlet uh, from Ducky as well. But these, uh, this stack here, belong to me. So I did replace uh, my Tetris, and I did replace Zelda 1, but in this case, it is the very sexy gray card. I do not know why that I like the gray cards better. It's probably just because they're different. I don't know, but it's freaking cool. So I'm going to look for the gray card link as well, and I'm, I'm not in a hurry, so it's not a big deal. We got Batman, a very cool... RPG Crystallis, very very highly praised on the NES. I haven't played it yet, so I know nothing about it, but I'm interested. A Konami shoot 'em up, pretty hard one. Life Force. Last but not least, a series that I am recently getting into that I am so happy to have this. We have 
Castlevania 1. Fantastic. I'm very happy to have that. Also, Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles on the PSP. I was a little bit hesitant to say that I wanted this game. I was just going to wait because my PSP sucks. Uh, but uh, he did have time to work on it a little bit while I was down there and did get the UMD drive to work uh, fairly well. So that was cool. And uh, hopefully it stays working and the battery just can cooperate with me. Last bit of games here. Trying to finish up this video before my phone runs out of space. We got Killzone 1 for the PlayStation 2. Killzone 2 and Killzone 3. And we have Under Defeat HD Deluxe Edition. Very cool shooter on the PlayStation 3. Happy to have that. Mega Man X Collection. This was very cool because I already had the anniversary collection. So it was cool to have a, a lot of Mega Man stuff now that I actually have to break the bank uh, in order to buy cartridges. Boy and His Blob on the Wii. And lastly, Tron Evolution Battle Grids for the Wii. Man, I can't believe how much stuff that is. Uh, that is so much stuff. And I, I feel like I'm forgetting things because it's been just kind of sitting around the room here for a couple of weeks now. But once again, thank you so much to Ducky Do Gaming for the ho great hospitality on our vacation down to San Antonio. And of course, thank you for the fantastic bro deal on all this stuff. I know that... Uh, you really hooked me up. So sorry for the kind of abrupt ending, but I want to finish this before my phone cuts out. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully, I don't know what I'll, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Doomwaves out.